there is a brand new NVIDIA GPU that's releasing this week. You may not be aware of it, and even though this is an exclusive GPU that perhaps not many people will buy, it indicates that EVGA and NVIDIA are willing to keep the price very, very high, especially for premium offerings, meaning that RTX 4000, this foreshadows that it's probably going to be very expensive, especially the 4090, 4080. They rather keep these prices very high rather than lower them or sell you know more GPUs use at lower prices. This GPU represents absolutely everything that is wrong in the current market. You're going to be very upset when you hear what the price is, as well as what it's mandatory to buy it with. A power supply is going to come bundled with this GPU. We're going to talk about why this GPU represents really what happened during the last year or so with really high pricing, really bad bundle deals, and GPUs that while you would think somebody wants, it looks like no Nobody is really all that interested, so let's discuss. All right, so a little perspective. The Kingpin 3090 Ti, this is going to be one of the best 3090 Ti's that you can actually buy. Now, I'm a big fan of the Kingpin GPUs, and I realize they're a very niche market for certain people. In fact, the computer that I have right back here, it's running two 3090 Kingpin GPUs. Um, that's already ridiculous because, you know, SLI doesn't really work. I use it for video rendering, but I put two together. So, if I'm being that ridiculous by putting two in one system, you can bet that what I'm saying now makes even more sense because I think this new one is even more ridiculous than two of these GPUs. So 3090 Kingpin definitely has a very niche market. It's, you know, a little bit more performance for the average gamer. It's really going towards the hardcore overclockers, the people that are going to use like liquid nitrogen and things like that. But the 3090 Kingpin, the one that preceded this, it fell into the hands of many any normal gamers that just wanted a really cool GPU. They weren't necessarily going to be looking for any like overclocking records or anything like that. And this 3090 Ti Kingpin is no exception. While a few people obviously will use it for overclocking, I would say maybe the majority of people that buy it just want the biggest and baddest GPU that you can get. But this is where the problem starts. Let's talk about the pricing. Priced pretty good is a Windows CD key. Today's video sponsor is going to be VIP-CDKDeals.com. Very simple process. You can get a Windows 10 Pro CD key. And remember to use code CC20 for a nice discount. If you get a notification that you're going to be in the queue, and yes, I did get my notification that I signed up for months ago, but the way the market has gone, I'm definitely not going to get this GPU. When you do get it, you're going to come into a little bit of a shock. The GPU is $24.99. That is very expensive, and it comes with a free an EVGA 1600 watt P2 power supply. Wow, that is a great power supply. And in fact, a GPU like this, you need six eight pin connectors. It's gonna be a lot more than the regular GPU. So it's very possible that a regular power supply, especially one that's you know much less than that, wouldn't be able to handle it. So on that front, it does make complete sense that they bundle the power supply with the GPU. The problem here is a lot of people that would buy this GPU are gonna have that power supply already or something very high end to be able to sort of take care of it and it just seems like some of the marketing tricks that all of these companies were doing last year by bundling stuff you don't necessarily need in order to sell gpus because they know it's going to be a limited number and that they're going to sell them anyway and of course the company that we saw this the most from was in fact evga i do like their gpus and i like their usually lower prices across the board even during sort of the the great shortages but they did have a lot of bundling that you would have to get a power supply and keyboard especially when they sold through third-party companies like Ant Online and things like that. You would basically get a GPU, a EVGA keyboard, a power supply, just because they knew they were going to sell the GPU anyway because the shortages were really a big factor back then. And they wanted to bundle these other things that usually they wouldn't sell nearly as many of. So the same thing happening here. This is a great representation of everything wrong with the GPU market. If you're going to buy a high-end GPU like this, you should make it come with just the GPU. And if the user wants Wants to buy a power supply make it available to them separately it really just seems like they're jacking up the price and trying to justify it by including something that almost anybody looking at this gpu will already either have or plan to buy for a very high-end system especially a 3090 ti buyer they're not going to 
put it in a system with, you know, a 500 watt power supply, they're probably going to know what they're getting into. So absolutely no reason to bundle it like this. But I guess the reason is so they can charge $24.99. Sure, maybe $24.99 would have made sense last year. After all, this 3090 Ti Kingpin seems to have been delayed a you know, pretty significant amount of time. 3090 Ti has been around now since the beginning of the year, and this one, they announced it pretty early on, but it took until now for them to actually start releasing the shipments of it, and it just comes way too late, considering that RTX 4000 is pretty much at the forefront of everybody's thoughts. So the biggest problem with it being $24.99, understanding that this is a high and GPU. Not everybody's going to want it. Everything like that is already understood. But the problem is you can already get a very high-end 3090 Ti like a EVGA for the Win 3, which originally was around $2299. So if that price had stayed around, this doesn't seem too bad because you are getting a power supply and it is the highest end 3090 Ti. But what happened since then, even that high-end 3090 Ti is now down to around $1999 at most retailers. And if you look at one of the other you know for the win 3 models there's the gaming the black version and the ultra if you look at the black version which is almost the same thing aside from the clock speeds those have been going as low as 1799 or thereabouts and if you look on the second hand market 3090 ti's are already selling for closer to maybe the 1500 dollars mark so at the end of the day you're paying pretty much an incredible markup for a gpu that although it is more exclusive and it is you know technically better than even a regular 3090 ti are you really willing to pay Okay that big of a price gap? Is there really an $800 difference, seven $800 difference between a regular for the win three that you can get at $1,799 and then something like this for $2,500? I really don't think that difference is there, um, especially because people aren't even buying them at $1,799. Even Best Buy reduced the price on the Founders Edition from $1,999 to $1,799 for those that are Total Tech members and because they simply were not selling them. The biggest reason is that the market has completely dropped from those type of prices. For example, you can pick up a pretty nicely used uh, 3090s condition that's been, you know, lightly used. You can pick them up. I've seen them as low as around $1,000, maybe even 900 something for certain models. Even some for the win three models, EVGA themselves were selling for around $1,100 on their B stock, which is going to be sort of the, the used or return GPUs. So that's a massive difference. You're talking about more than twice the price. Yes, you're getting an exclusive GPU and you're going to to get a little bit more FPS, but it goes to show you that the pricing is still out of whack and they're still taking advantage, especially of the high end buyers that would typically want something like this. They're definitely charging 2021 20, prices pretty much as high as they can go for a GPU like this, that even high end users, I don't want to get one. And a lot of the, my friends that I speak to that have kingpins or have gotten them in the past and did get the notification, they're not interested in getting that as well, simply because of the extremely high price. If it was a little bit cheaper, maybe around the same price as the For the Win 3, maybe like around 2000 or what the 3090, um, you know, Kingpin was, maybe that would make it a little bit more logical. And it's still priced at a premium compared to what GPUs are selling for now. But to price it at $2,500 shows sort of wishful thinking. And it's really sort of relegated to the past GPU market that was very, very high. That's getting closer to the scalper pricing on 3090s last year. And even though 3090 Ti's are more expensive than RTX 3090s. The key point here is very, very few people are buying them. And you can tell by the amount in stock at retailers like Micro Center and the amount that they're discounting these GPUs. You can find open box 3090 Ti's for the $1,500 to $1,600 level already. And we're not even talking about 3090s. The other day I made a video that the EVGA for the Win 3 3090 was down to $1,349 retails at Micro Center already. You know, something they did together with, you know, EVGA because I saw the advertisement as well from EVGA. So so that's pretty incredible. This GPU, nearly $1,200 more, and you're getting a little more exclusive GPU, a little better performance. But this indicates what the market was last year, where people were willing to pay pretty outrageous prices for very small gains. But I don't think that's realistic at all. And this is just taking advantage of the sort of the high-end gaming enthusiast, because at the end of the day, that's who really is going to buy this, along with, you know, the overclockers and gaming enthusiasts. This is a GPU that probably no crypto miner would 
really want to buy just because it's you know doesn't really make any sense it's much more expensive than even a 3090 that you can get now or even a 3080 ti which is going to give you very similar performance aside from a few percentage points but aside from it being more exclusive i just think that this pricing is a great example a bad example of how the market can really be taken advantage of when there's a little bit of a scarcity for a particular model so what does this mean for you going forward well rtx 4000 is going to be here this year and if they're still pricing premium gpus at this type of a markup you can sure bet that they don't plan to lower the prices at all it means that rtx 4000 when that 4090 hits that 4080 4070 you can bet they're definitely going to come at a premium because i think nvidia would rather sell less gpus at higher markups rather than sell a bunch like they did of the 3080 at 699 and the other gpus where they're potentially not making as much money on each gpu even though they're selling out like crazy so this definitely indicates that they're willing to keep prices really very high especially for more premium offerings and rtx 4000 we can expect are going to be very expensive but if it is just like the rtx 3090 ti kingpin i'm going to pass on it and i'm sure many high-end gamers and even gamers looking at 4070s and 4080s they may also pass up on it and pick up an older rtx 3000 like a regular 3090 at a pretty steep discount all right guys so let me know what you think remember to smash that like button and i'll see you guys in the next video